Positive Impact Project, translated into English. The Animals According to the survey carried out in 2021 by the Companion Animal Commission, there are about 30 million abandoned animals in Brazil, among them 20 million are dogs and 10 million are cats. According to surveys by IBOP and the Waltham Institute, only 41% of tutors say they would take the animal with them if they had to move house. More than half, therefore, stated that they would not take their pet with them when moving house. 14% of Brazilians who already had a dog or cat justified the separation due to a change of address, and most of the interviewees would have been able to adapt the animal to the change, but refused. Another 14% justified abandonment by claiming not having time to take care of them as they would like, others claimed that the animal's behavior was inappropriate, because the son was born, because it was too expensive. The survey indicated that 42% of dog and cat owners do not neuter their animals. The procedure is not carried out due to misinformation, disinterest or lack of resources. Among those who already had animals and no longer have them, 67% of respondents answered that the animal died, 5% that it was poisoned and 2% that it was stolen. Ricardo Diaz, who is a professor at the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Sao Paulo, USP, and a contributor to the research Passion for Pets, said that abandonment occurs with animals of all ages and due to lack of planning. He states that, people are motivated by passion when it comes to acquiring animals, but any change in the family structure causes them to be abandoned. After all, for most people, they are not a priority. For the lawyer and animal protector Ana Paula Vasconcelos, the tutor's excuses are as varied as possible. The person adopts or buys a small animal and when the animal starts to get big, they simply abandon it or want to keep it tied up. He buys an animal on impulse because it's small and cute and forgets that work comes with dirt, expense and sleepless nights. What future can we give our animals? Positive Impact Project has a list of several works that will be implemented and implemented after the launch of the project and as it evolves. Such services and supports were prepared by veterinarians and administrators and will be discussed monthly with the corresponding professionals in search of continuous evolution in the provision of service and care to animals. Attendance. Basic service. Behavioral analysis, physical analysis, checking the need for food, verification of pathogens. Advanced service. Specific behavioral analysis. If an atypical behavior is verified, the animal will be collected so that the reason for its behavior can be verified. Specific physical analysis. If any physical abnormality is found, the animal will be collected so that the problem can be analyzed. Food analysis. If any abnormality is found, such as lack of appetite, vomiting or derivatives, the animal will be collected so that the reason for its actions can be verified, analysis of pathogens, if pathogens are verified, the pathogen removal service will be performed. Services Exams Blood count, indicate inflammatory and infectious processes, such as anemia and the presence of hemoparasites, in addition to showing platelet changes and suggesting bone marrow problems, blood cell production. Urinalysis, assists in the diagnosis of diabetes and other endocrine diseases, as well as indicates the presence of urinary infection and provides important information regarding the functioning of the animal's kidney. Coproparasitological examination, its purpose is to detect the presence of worms and protozoa that cause intestinal diseases. Liver function, identifies changes and possible liver diseases. This examination is essential to attest to the proper functioning of the organ. Order of service. Basic service, in this initial care, the professional analyzes the animal and checks its state of health, being able to refer it to advanced care, aiming at complementary treatment. Food, if it is verified that the animal needs food, it will be provided until its need is verified. Vaccine, if a vaccine treatment is necessary, the animal will be submitted to the treatment and will be under observation until the release attested by the corresponding professional. Castration, if necessary, the animal will undergo the procedure, according to current regulations. Release, after the end of the procedures, the animal can be taken to a suitable place, where our team will try to find a home for the animal.
If a home is not found, the animal will receive a collar with a number for a possible analysis of its health later, and the animal will be released in a safe place. According to our calculations, we will have an estimated service of 64 animals, feed 49, vaccinate 74 and castrate 24. This estimate is monthly. Summary Unfortunately, many people don't have the resources or physical and psychological conditions to take care of an animal, but they don't analyze it before going after a pet, and often what should become a best friend story ends up in a horror story. Dead or abandoned animals, we have a beautiful project focused on the welfare of animals, with basic and advanced care and various services, and we already have veterinary professionals who donate part of their time to this project and want to do more. Our intention is to expand the project to both the veterinary care and the current location. Veterinary services are already taking place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. People Poverty in people's lives We have many ways of looking at poverty in human beings. Economic poverty is always the most visible, being the main gateway to human degradation, bringing with it low self-esteem, suicidal thoughts, drug and alcohol consumption, loss of property and violence, people who had a family, a house, a car, now live on the street, they have nothing and nobody. Others have lost everything and only the dog remains by their side, living on the streets without any kind of hygiene and prospects for the future. Unfortunately, this is the reality of thousands of people around the world, and here in Brazil, the situation is no different. Our project focuses on relieving the suffering of others, bringing the possibility of a new life, passing on the understanding that the person is not alone, that there are people willing to help and show the way to a healthy life. Poverty, a path of no return? Does institutionalized poverty exist? Is poverty minimized simply because these people are poor? Does poverty exist due to the exploitation of people? We have a broad view of poverty and how it influences people's lives. Unfortunately, many people don't care about others, nor do they want to see a beggar as a normal person, but just another beggar. When a person reaches the homeless situation, he has already lost practically everything he had in his life, so that person starts to suffer the chain of institutionalized poverty. A homeless person will have almost zero chances of returning to a healthy social life, almost zero chances of getting a job or a house to live in. Almost all people want distance due to their physical state, and these people often have drug problems, which causes more fear making it even more difficult to approach, according to our street survey, if a well-groomed person asked for help on the street, they would be helped by 80% of the people interviewed, while a person with bad clothes or if their state of poverty or extreme poverty was seen, this number would drop to 2%. With these results, we have evidence that the state of poverty generates more poverty, which makes it difficult for this individual to enter society, and that the person is minimized by the simple fact of being a poor person. How to justify a person who worked his whole life and ended up on the street, without a job, without a family, and without a home. Unfortunately, many people suffer professional exploitation. Many people work hard but don't get what they deserve. Many lose their homes because they cannot earn enough money to pay their rent and end up on the streets. Higher wages, in many cases, would avert the tragic fate of many people living on the streets today. How can we help change the lives of these people? Our project aims at the well-being of those in need using the continuous support method. This method not only guarantees a food support structure, but also support as a human being. We want to understand why this individual is on the street, what are his real needs, where is his family? Can we try to contact your family? Among other forms of support, because man will not live on bread alone. Our project has the following services, delivery and collection of food, delivery and collection of basic hygiene kit, delivery and collection of clothes, shoes and blankets, other services can be included in the project. Extreme Poverty Data in Brazil According to data recorded by the Ministry of Citizenship of Brazil, the number of people in extreme poverty has increased considerably, not only in Brazil, but in several countries. Our intention is not to belittle all the efforts of our country in search of improvements for Brazilians, 
but to expose the data so that we are aware that we need to do more for the people who need it, not only in Brazil, but in the world. The Positive Impact Project Services Our services are designed to function differently from services that are currently active by other companies and entities. Our project aims to partner with retailers so that we can leave food baskets and hygiene kits at partner stores, whose items can be picked up by needy people previously registered by our team. Our goal is to establish partnerships with several stores. People will register with us through WhatsApp, website, or app, where several points will be released where the food basket and hygiene kit can be removed. Assistance to needy people registered in Positive Impact Project Human help, speaking and understanding the needs of the individual, register the individual in the Positive Impact Project and inform the procedures for removing the basic food basket and hygiene kit, check the individual's need to receive the food basket, hygiene kit, clothes, shoes, sneakers and blankets. Services for people in extreme poverty, homeless people, human help, speaking and understanding the needs of the individual, our project aims to deliver food and hygiene kits to homeless people, the menu of the food that will be delivered, ready-to-eat food, cookies and fresh fruit, partnerships will be made with barbers and hairdressers, in the hygiene kit you will have, toilet paper, feminine pad, soap, toothpaste and toothbrush. According to estimates of support to people, we will have a monthly average of 40 food baskets, 80 hygiene kits, we will offer 440 meals, we will distribute 30 blankets and 21 shoes. These values are estimates, it will certainly be a much higher value after the project is launched, as we will partner with companies, and they will invest in the project through their advertisements on our app and on other channels. Positive Impact Project Values the Positive Impact Project is a fully sustainable project, as the amount invested in the project will be fully invested in assets, IPCA plus from the Treasury, CDBs, shares and or LCIs and LCAs. The project requires $600,000, of which 72% will be used to purchase the assets mentioned above. Market analysis will be carried out, where investment specialists will be consulted in the purchase of assets. If the purchase takes place in assets that pay dividends, part of the value will be reinvested to reduce inflation. Therefore, the project will be self-sustainable, with no need for new investments to keep the project active, but we will continue to raise funds through sales with the insertion of all capital into the project. The primary percentage, which corresponds to 28%, will be distributed among the specialists and project participants, according to the analysis and criteria of the founder. Such amounts will be used to pay project costs, project-related expenses, and the time of all professionals, according to basic investment calculations, with an average annual rate of 10% 14%, the monthly return will be $7,000. About 30% of this amount will be allocated to the care of animals, and 70% of this amount will be allocated to the care of people in need. Positive Impact of Project Implementation after the project is launched, investments will be made in the first month. In the second month, we will start veterinary services and establish partnerships with companies to implement the removal of basic food baskets and hygiene kits. In the third month, we will start serving people in extreme poverty. In the fourth month, we will analyze and diagnose the project, aiming at improvements. This process will always take place every four months and we will also start the service for registering people in the Positive Impact Projects database. In the sixth month, we will start the Human Assistance Service for registered people. In the eighth month, we will have a review for the creation of the project's Positive Impact app, where we will seek support from private companies to include proven ads in the app, seeking further investment for the project. In the twelfth month, we will have the launch of the project's Positive Impact application. Other releases and fixes will occur as the project progresses. Final Considerations The Positive Impact Project aims to improve people's lives. We are willing to dedicate our lives for the good of others, always inserting comfort in words and acting with affection and humility, always prioritizing social justice and empathy. Mission, bringing hope at every dawn to people. Vision, to be recognized as a company that develops differentiated work which aims to have a positive impact on people's lives, values, empathy, humility, dedication, and social rights. Team Responsible for the Positive Impact Project 
Fabio Matos, founder, entrepreneur, publisher, telecommunications technician, user support specialist, infrastructure and decentralized financial market specialist. Renata Oliveira. Graduated in business administration, specialist in financial management and specialist in contemporary market analysis. Emerson Marquez. Specialist in advertising, advertising, performs analysis and market management. Swami Jr. Veterinarian, specialist in physical and behavioral analysis of animals. Kelly Demas. Veterinarian, specialist in physical and behavioral analysis of animals. Fabio Souza. Video editor, photos, camera operator, specialist in journalism and advertising. Andre Pimentel. Camera operator, performs market analysis and management, specialist in journalism and advertising. Valeria Matos. Animal activist. Luke Eileen Paz. Animal activist. Eduardo Brito. Specialist in public, private and risky places security. Visit our website and help.